Hi everyone, welcome to the second video of this playlist uh, that is uh, a showcase of uh, my global uh, finished vault. Um, it is finished at 90%. Um, and the next videos will be a concrete dive into the building process. So we are just gonna take a look at the possibilities um, on this video and then we are gonna dive into the building process. Um, this is my home page. Uh, so we are going to get uh, through it. Um, this is uh, some progress bars uh, at first for the current year and uh, the progress of my uh, diploma. Uh, then we have, uh, so every every part of this home page are called out. So it's quickly um, just um, uh, reducible. I don't know if, if it's a real English word, but uh, it is quickly reducible. Um, reductible, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Um, so this is uh, for me the, the powerful um, part of my home page. It uh, allows me to quickly create uh, things and access others. I used to try the buttons plugins uh, plugin, um, but um, there is an issue with redirections uh, inside callouts for the buttons. So I have my um, daily notes here, uh, where I have uh, the note I've created today, um, the planning of the day with um, the, um, the time block I did. Um, even uh, it can be uh, both in Obsidian or in um, uh, Google Calendar because it is linked. And I have some tasks um, that uh, depends of the, of the day of the week uh, at the daily note creation. So let's go back to my home page. Um, I have a quick create um, part here, a button here. Um, I'm not going to click on it now. We are going to go through uh, all of those buttons before. I have the calendar event here, so I can quickly create an event. And uh, then I can um, create a note for these events. Uh, it is linked to Google Calendar, so it will update my Google Calendar on my phone too. Uh, and I can, after that, create notes um, for special events or, or for uh, lessons um, and, and quickly edit it. Um, and I can also click here on the right part um, to access uh, this event and create a note for it. So it, it, there is some quick links around my, my, my vault to access uh, all the, the events. Uh, I have the graph view uh, of my vault. It's pretty small for now, but we can see um, a main hub with a home and um, Obsidian Vault project where I, I, I used to put uh, everything I needed to do. Uh, I can quickly show it up to you. So let's go to uh, the uh, project um, notes. Uh, on the project notes, you can see there is a um, progress bar and have an important part with the uh, extra draw. So that's what is interesting now because we are going to create a quick project later. So I'm going to show it uh, to you uh, again, but uh, the extra draw will not be created. So um, this is um, the um, process um, I went into uh, for mm. all my uh, vault creation. Sorry, that's... Uh, notification from Obsidian because it's linked to a Google Calendar and I have both notification from Obsidian and Google Calendar. So um, this is um, all I uh, went through to create all the parts of uh, my vault. Um, it is uh, with Escalidro, the plugin. We are going back to uh, my home page um, and we are going to look into the quick create button. So uh, it's uh, typically uh, create a new node from template um, command from um, templater, but uh, I have um, a huge templates that allows me to create multiple nodes uh, at one and subfolders and things. So we are going to create a project because that's the mo most interesting uh, part of, um, of the quick creation. Uh, it asks me for a new name of the project. So let's say, I don't know, um, uh, video test. Then uh, for a status, uh, it is not started yet. Uh, for uh, a type, it is personal, uh, a school project or professional project, let's say personal, and the priority of the project. 
I'm gonna say low. Uh, and uh, he asks me for a, a banner link. Uh, so I'm gonna just quickly uh, find a banner, the link here, um, press enter, and then it creates uh, the uh, project. So you can see uh, I have the same uh, display as the um, Obsidian Vault project I opened before. Uh, one interesting thing is opening the project fr uh, from the folder tree because uh, instead of um, this appearance, we are gonna have the, um, the banner and the icon. Uh, and you can see on the left in my folder tree, it created a new folder named video test. It created a new note named video test that is hidden because it is a folder note. Um, it is allowed by make.md plugin. And uh, it, create, it created me, sorry, also um, a Kanban for this project and a journal. Um, to show you not empty example for the not create, for the project creation, I'm gonna go again into my Obsidian Vault project. So you can see uh, this is the uh, folder notes and I can access quickly to the Kanban um, where you can see I have done uh, much things and I have some things um, left to do. I can go back to my um, folder notes and click on my journal. You can see about what I've uh, updated uh, along the way with some um, highlighted uh, text, some uh, screenshots here. And uh, I have all the uh, tasks that are um, left to do from today um, and before. So this is a global view of how um, my project creation looks like. Um, another thing I can show you is um, I can quickly um, link uh, new notes uh, from the Kanban. So if I have an idea like, um, I don't know, I'm gonna create a new, oh no, let's, let's do this in the video test um, Kanban. Um, okay, so I have an idea, I'm gonna create a new, um, new I don't know, uh, new video, let's, let's say this. And uh, then I just have to click, right click here and create new note from card and you can see, uh, create me a new note and link it here. And this new note um, is um, stored in a new subfolder created for this, uh, that is called video test notes right here on the left. Okay, um, that is a huge part of my vault. I think I have covered most of it, but we are gonna see later if uh, it is the case uh, or if I forgot some things, but let's go back to my homepage. Um, on the right part of my buttons, I have the portals. Um, the portals uh, are mostly done, uh, except the journal one that will be um, the hub where I can store uh, tracking of my uh, daily note habits uh, and tasks. I have here um, a project uh, hub where you can see I have all the projects um, I have created in a context view uh, where I can uh, filter them by a priority, uh, by um, status, uh, file name, or uh, the type of it, uh, where, it start, where I started it, uh, the due date, uh, or I can even hide uh, the the Archie's project by going uh, here and um, click on group by and let's say I'm gonna group it by um, Archive uh, status status sorry um, and let's say uh, I go to my video test um, um, notes and I say it is archi archived and then uh, I go back to my um, project view and you can see uh, this um, project is now uh, separated, fr separated uh, from the others. Let's go back to the home page. Um, here we have a portal uh, named Thoughts. Uh, it's just typically a note with uh, some reminders and things. I just go through my mind and I can type anything I want and quickly access to it or copy paste ev everything I want. Uh, so that that just not to to write whatever uh, I want to write on the moment. Um, here we are my finance uh, context uh, where I have um, my bank management, my incomes and my expenses or um, expenses uh, project. 
Um, those two aren't built uh, for null, but the bank is. Oh, there is a table here that should show up. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't show up before. That's not my real account status. Um, that I just follow the example. Uh, but you can add table uh, quickly to uh, your file folders, uh, folder notes, sorry. Uh, and if I go to files, I have here my um, report, my bank reports um, um, sorted by a bank. Here in the reports, I only have uh, the PDF showing up, uh, download from the bank account. Um, so in the home page, let's go now to the knowledge uh, context where you can see I have all my uh, knowledge uh, sheets and my tool sheets I created. Uh, you have categories for it and uh, hashtag that is uh, the um, software it's concerned about. Um, I'm gonna quick create a knowledge or a tool just to show you. So let's say new knowledge, uh, title of the new knowledge, how to uh, build, a, I don't know, a house uh, in Blender. I, I don't need to say in Blender software let's say blender and uh, categories or team let's say um i don't know um uh, sculpting sculpting um uh, building okay um answer and i'm gonna add a youtube link so i'm gonna go to youtube search for a uh, build a house in blender uh, let's select uh, the uh, first video and take the link and pa paste it here and here we go we have a knowledge sheet created with the um, software um, some information about the categories and i can uh, just look at the video from um, obsidian and type some information uh, i can add uh, like uh, timestamps and say uh, at this timestamp uh, i can see it does this uh, etc etc um, I can quickly go back to my uh, knowledge context just by clicking right up uh, left of the video and you can see it added it right here at the bottom of my um, knowledge sheet how to build a house and with the categories and the hashtag the hashtag um, so let's go back to my home page and uh, let's go to uh, the last part of the portal my video game reviews I have only one uh, for now about uh, road uh, 96 and uh, as you can see I have uh, the main rating of uh, heat the note on 20 and every um, general notes um, I have um, decided uh, through prompt at the, at the creation. Um, if I go to the notes you can see um, it is pretty um, it is just pretty um, and I have a um, synopsis I, I don't know the word in English the summary maybe uh, telling a bit about the game story we have the trailer right here um, you can see um, and we have some uh, notes um, on 20 the notes by stores the rating by stores and the exact notes uh, that has been uh, prompted for uh, I can quickly create um, a new video game re review just to show you. I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna go. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna go through the whole process, but um, let's say um, I play that Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 10, um, the banner of the review. Uh, I'm not gonna go for a banner um, right now. I'm gonna, just gonna put the banner I used for the project example. Uh, insert the trailer link so I'm gonna search on YouTube Mortal Kombat 10 trailer it's gonna be interesting because I'm gonna show you another thing uh, through this at the end uh, I'm gonna put random notes um, so don't mind uh, of the note I, I enter uh, the YouTube video link um, what is um, the category of the game it's um, uh, versus fighting fighting okay 
Uh, what is the, um, the duration? Um, I, I don't remember how much I spent in the campaign of Mortal Kombat. Uh, let's say uh, 10 hours. Um, 10 hours. I just need to, to add 8 if I remember right. Uh, rate the overworld game presentation. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go through this and put some randomness. Um, we don't really care about this now. Okay. And there we go. Oh, we have um, a non-available video. Um, I think it's protected from protected from um, outside um, outside um, display of the video. Uh, but here we have our new um, review. And uh, the interesting thing I wanted to show you is, uh, as you can see here, it's just saying write a summary uh, in four lines about Mortal Kombat is and I'm just gonna uh, select this in the callout and click on this button on the left top of my um, my oxygen vault and as you can see uh, it pretty does nothing right now but after a few seconds it just gonna write a full um, synopsis about Mortal Kombat in four lines and it's a bit too long uh, so I could just go back and say three lines so it can um, go uh, and fit well inside the part of the knot uh, but as you can see uh, it just um, it, it's from uh, an AI that wrote the synopsis and here you can see uh, the knot and the rating so um, that's pretty much all for the portals um, then we are from the own page the uh, habits from today, uh, current day in not. Um, I can check it uh, from here and it will update in the daily note as well. I can also uh, see all the uh, tasks, sorry, from my thoughts uh, note. I can finally see all the due tasks uh, from every project in my vault that, I, that are due for today or before. And uh, at the end of my home page, I have a planning uh, with a two-day um, two um, schedule, uh, yesterday's schedule and tomorrow's schedule. Um, I think I've went through most of my um, vaults. Um, as you can see on the left, I have not a big uh, folder tree and I most of the time never open most of the folders except the projects folders. Um, so it is because with make.md we have access to folder notes and context and if I click on a space, th these are not folders, these are spaces from make.md plugin. So as you can see, I clicked on knowledge space and I have my context with all the knowledge sheets. But um, inside those spaces, as you can see in the project spaces uh, that I can quickly access by clicking on it, uh, I have um, folders that are folders and their folder notes. As you can see, I just clicked on the folders and I have the folder notes. So um, I think I've went uh, over the majority of the vault. I probably uh, forgot some things, but I think I've covered most of them. So uh, I'll be happy to show you uh, the building process for a vault like this in the, the, um, the next uh, videos of the playlist. And I hope um, it will help you to find out what uh, find out things you wanted to achieve before in obsidian thank you for watching and join me in my um, amazing obsidian experience by subscribing uh, to the channel and i hope to see you in the next videos